Hey everybody, welcome to Me Monday and I am working in my Smashbook and I'm going to be using this Oh Darling collection because I want to put this on the first page and on the first page of the Smashbook it says like, hello, would you like a cup of tea or something like that? And so uh, I use that Oh Darling collection. I just pulled out some scraps that I had and the embellishment packs that I put like in one of those little clear cases. So I just went ahead and put those strips down. And now I'm going through that six by six pad because I thought I needed some kind of layering on the, you know, on the back of the picture, but I couldn't find any that I really liked. And I remembered, I, I thought, well, I'll use those distress paints. And I found a Adirondack copper that I ended up using. So I just put it on there. I dried it and I'm going to place my picture in that square. There we go. And now I just go through that embellishment pack of stuff that I have. And I put that G there because my last name is Gonzalez. So I thought that would be perfect. I put that flower up in the corner and I'm just pulling out kind of random embellishments. Just everything in that uh, Ziploc baggie goes with that collection. So I knew it would match. So I just started pulling out things and pasting them down. There we go, and I'm gonna put that love. And then I'm gonna go look through my thickers, but I had saw some gold thickers laying uh, pretty close to me. So I'm gonna use those thickers to use for 1977. And right here, I'm just writing my name and I'm putting the 1977 down. And I put a few of like those sparkle gem enamel dots and um, I'm putting those down as well. And here's some close-ups of the pictures. There we go, and here's just some close-ups of the still shots. I'm not sure when that picture was taken of me, but um, that's the only one that I could find where I was really young, so. Now I'm gonna be working on this picture of my mom and the two girls, and my intention for this page is to put it down, and again, I'm still using that Oh Darling collection by Crate Paper, and I'm putting stuff down, but as you can see, little hands right there come and she's like start you'll see her she'll start to pick stuff out and she like wants to lay it down i'm like heck i'll just let her embellish the page so that's what you're going to be seeing over the next minute or so is gabby picking out the embellishments and i'm surprised how she laid it like that corner right there like i thought she'd lay it on the picture but she didn't she almost put it at the top but then she puts it on the bottom corner and like she's really thinking about where she's going to lay her embellishments and I just got the biggest kick out of it. And sometimes see she would put it down, then she'd put it back, pick it back up and move it. It just really tickled me. Like she was really scrapbooking and she had so much fun. So if you can kind of see the pattern that's going, she's pulling any bows, flowers, and hearts. She hasn't started pulling the hearts, but she will soon. And any bows she could get her hand on, she would pull it out as well. And see, she was going to lay it there, but she's like, no, mom, it's empty right there. So she stuck it right there. And um, while Gabby's scrapbooking right here, what I'm going to do, I haven't had a chance to do it yet because every time I come to my room, Gabby wants to come and scrapbook some more. But hopefully tonight, I'm going to journal about where I got, where I came with up with the girls' names. So when Isabel was born, I don't know what movie I was watching when I was like a teenager, but there was a girl named Isabel in there. And I always told my mom, if I ever have a little girl, I'm going to name her Isabel. So that's how I got her name. So we named Isabel Isabel. And then when I found out I was having another little girl, first I really wanted a little boy because I thought a girl and a boy, right? And I had a boy name all picked out. Uh, it would be uh, Manuel Miguel, but then I found out I was having a girl. So we named her Gabriella. And no, not the... Uh, just Gabrielle because my oldest brother's name is Gabriel and we've always been pretty close and stuff so I named her Gabrielle and uh, that's how I came up with her names and I just wanted to scribble down that story on that so if they under ever un wonder where their name came from they would know how I came up with it so and look when Gabby puts this down she's not happy with it she's like deciding where to put it and then she peels it back up <laughs> and then she puts it over here watch 
And she kind of put it a little close to the spiral thing, but I think it's going to be okay. I was going to pick it up, but she was determined to put it down. So, so we have lots of butterflies and hearts and things. So now I'm like, let's get some enamel dots down because I was trying to ask her to leave me some room to write, which she did. She did pretty good. So I think that's enough. And now she's writing her name. Okay, so I was so she was writing her name there and then uh, right there she forgot the A and she was like, oh, how do I make it? So I helped her make her A really quickly and then we we're going to put a little date stamp with today's date. Oh, and then she found some freckle fawn, which that kind of helped me out because I want to use as much of my July kit in July. And so she was putting some more hearts on there. And then I believe that is going to be it. Hi. Do you like the video? Here. Look. So bye. Follow us on Tittle, Facebook, and um, Facebook. Did I always say Facebook? Facebook. Bye <laughs> bye. Bye bye, YouTube. Okay, so here's some close ups of the picture. And if you didn't get that, Gabby watches a lot of YouTube with her sister. And she was like, follow us on Twitter. Facebook. Did I say Facebook? And she's like, okay, Facebook. I don't even have Twitter. That was funny. Bye.